community here in Metro Detroit speaking out tonight in the wake of those terror attacks overseas. They are reacting to the ISIS actions and expressing their concerns over anti-Islamic sentiments that have grown louder in recent days. Now, seven investigator Jonathan Carlson with our story. The Michigan Council of Imams gathering today in hopes of calming fears. In the wake of ISIS terror attacks in Beirut and Paris, the Muslim community has once again been the target of Islamophobia and misunderstanding. We condemn in the strongest terms such acts of terrorism that take the lives of innocent people. The community here in Dearborn called on the FBI and other officials to act swiftly and with their cooperation should there be any ISIS sympathizers found within their ranks in southeast Michigan, something they unilaterally condemned. ISIS, Al-Qaeda and other criminals are hijacking our Islamic identity and destroying our faith and belief system. Islam is about peace, justice, freedom and human integrity. But ISIS and other similar evil calls are the enemies of all these values. They also called on Governor Snyder to allow heavily screened Syrian refugees into the state. The imams say ISIS attacks their people as well, and the terror group doesn't represent their values. They want their sometimes fearful neighbors to know that. Robert Brutel is with the Interfaith Leadership Council. He says of non-Muslims, We share the same faith values. That's the thing I think that we need to understand. Muhammad Ali Alahi is one of the area's leading imams. They kill Muslim, they kill Christians. He says of the ensuing backlash against innocent Muslims here and nationwide, that plays right into the ISIS playbook. This is the fear that the enemies want to create. In Dearborn Heights, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jurors 